last day of Mara season, so we've got, uh, it is 26 minutes past four this morning, so we'll be getting to where we want just after sunrise. Um, we're probably going to kill one for a feed, um, but we'll probably make it, like, try and do a different bit of different stuff as far as describing why we're choosing one lure over another in certain situations and uh, hopefully you can get a few fish on the board for our last day. Tomorrow is officially the last day of barrow season but this is our last day because we'll have to go to school tomorrow. I've got to go to work so life gets in the way. So we'll see you on the water shortly. This is what you look like at 4.30 in the morning. Mozzies, mozzies are a bit ordinary. Right, so as we come down the bank there, there's a croc. He took off out here. We've just seen him disturb a heap of bottom over there now. So we'll go for the first cast and see what happens. With these frogs, they're pretty easy lure to work. All you have to do is, like, once you've hit the water, hold the rod tip down. In this sort of situation, hold the rod tip down. And just twitch it so it sort of looks like a frog swimming in little spits and spats across the surface. There's two main retrieves with them. Sometimes you'll find that pausing retrieve works, and other times, other times you'll find that a, a uh, straight retrieve works just like that and then stop it, straight retrieve and stop it. That same thing as that burn and kill that we were talking about before. So this is a shad that I was given years ago, I can't even remember, it's not in a packet. So I can't even remember what brand it is. But I can remember they used to be really good for the big impoundment barrow. We used to chase a lot of barrow in Faust and Lake Awonga like 20 years ago over in the shallow weed beds and stuff like that. Stuff that a lot of people think is new these days, but it's, it's far from new. It's been done for a long time. But the way to use these is a straight retrieve. Rod tip high because I've got a half ounce head on this one. Rod tip high and just straight retrieve. A Tilson Barra. It's a, a slightly suspending lure, hard body lure. Dives down deep and there's, there's a shallow sand bank there, so we'll, uh, it's going to bump it, going to bump into the sand. He might be all right too. Yep. It just that pandanus branch that I just dragged out there. <coughs> he came off the branch. He must have followed the branch out and was sitting under it because I was twitching my lure over it. Jesus got it down. Holy dooly. That's right down. <laughs> that's right down the throat, that one. Look at his fin. That's pink. That pink cut, that's, oh that's way down there. Um, Do we have flies? Yeah. That pink in dirty water is a great colour. And I was just suspending it over that branch out there that I just dragged in. And so, yeah. Hmm. Try and get this out of here. This is where these really long handle pliers come in handy. Good barrow. Yeah, it's a good fish, this one. You don't want to jump. Okay. You don't want to jump and just back that drag off a bit. Yeah, he's a good one. Geez, I love this old reel now. This Corrado I'm using, it's probably, I don't know, close to 20 years old, I suppose. But, um, Jack Erskine, when he was alive and doing precision reel engineering stuff, did it for me. And 
he's put a bearing that he was working on in there and it's the best bearings I'd love to know exactly what the bearings are because I have serious issues with bearings and reels sometimes corrosion and all that sort of stuff but he put the first of the carbon text drag washes in it too and it's just one of the nicest reels it turned a it turned a reel that had some issues into a bloody good reel he's hooked on the outside of the head too The rod that I'm using is a 16 to 25 pound samurai runoff. So it's a ballsy stick. I could put a lot more hurt on it, but when I realized where this thing was hooked, I realized I've got to back the drag off or I'll pull the lure out of him. Hope he doesn't get eaten by that croc. He's taking a bit to get in. When you hook them on the outside of the head, they've got a bit more leverage on you. You, you tend not to be able to um, steer them as, as well. Yeah. He's a nice fish, mate. Oh, one hook fell out. He's just come up for the salt. Very nice fish. Just grab them pliers for me, buddy. <laughs> Why? What do you mean it's not fair? You're up sitting next to the fire because the mozzies are so bad and I'm out here bearing the brunt of it. So it's fair. That's exactly where that last one, you see the dirty stirred up water? Yeah. Then you pop this one, eh? Come on. Oh, come on, come on. Go, go. That's the thing with the Tilson, you can suspend it, sort of, you give it those real hard cracks with a rod tip like that, and it sends out these real panic vibrations on the side of it, and then let it sit. So, it's not traveling very far at all. The lure's not traveling very far at all, like, you can get these vibrations out of it, but the lure's not, ooh, over a twig. But the lure's not traveling distance to actually send out the vibrations, it's sort of little, little kicks like that, and then let it sit. Wind up the slack without moving it, and then twitch it. <laughs> How cool! I'm going for a tarpon. <laughs> Casting at a tarpon, and he's hooked a big barra. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> he's not a bad one by the sound of it. This is on the surface, so. It, yeah, on a frog. It scared the crap out of the pair of us because we just weren't expecting it. <laughs> you might have to come out here near me, buddy, if he goes down there. What pound leader you got on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Big. Oh, he's all right. He'd be seven. He'd be seventy, seventy-two or something. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, right on the outside. Hundred percent. So these frogs, when you hook them, a lot of the time, what happens is the hooks will actually pull out of the body of the lure, and then you've got to reassemble them again. Slide him back in the water. Be nice fish, eh? Good one. About what? What do you reckon? Sixty-eight. 70? No, maybe seventy. Maybe seventy centimeters. Right on. Cool. How good is that? Hmm. Oh, just realised where he was. Get the hell out of here. So the difference in retrieves with the Tilson because it suspends and sometimes in fresh water they slightly sink but with the hammers in fresh they slowly float real slowly float so two different retrieves like with the Tilson I twitch it upwards like that so that I'm sort of not hitting the bottom in the shallow water but with the hammer I'm using a 105 hammer now so this is a hammer 
So with the hammer, I'm uh, twitching it and cast it out, wind it downwards because I want it to actually get down. It's only a shallow diver. I wanted to get down and then I'll tap the rod tip downwards like that so I'll make it actually dive down instead of work up like a Tilson. So each lure's got its best way to be worked and it depends on the environment you're in, whether it be shallow tapered banks or if it's deep water, you know. You still after it? Okay. You didn't sound like a bad one. Yeah, he looked like a good one. I saw his tail. His oh, tail oh, here he is. He's back. Oh, he's out here. One to your right. A heap of tilapia on the surface just there. Work one back under them and see what's in there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. The swirl's a little bit still coming up. It's a bit big for tilapia, that one. Whereabouts? See all the weed like mm, spinning? Yep. Like? Yeah. I was yeah. coming through here. Right about there. He must have followed it right to the edge. Mm. That's where I, that's exactly where I pulled it out. Shit crawling all over. Oh yeah! <laughs> How good did that look? He came out from under the grass. His whole head came out of the water when he ate it. He came out from just on the left there, like he actually came up on the top and stuck his head out as he ate it. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's a big fish. It's a big fish, but it's hard. On oh, oh no! No. no. And ate it right at your feet. No, that, that might trigger everything else. Here's a good fish. I, I thought I saw like a little tiny bit. Oops, oh, I know. I thought I saw like the tiniest bit of movement like right there. Yeah. And I stopped it for like a millisecond. It went. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. One. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's a, that's a meter He's a big fish. Right. Yeah. Oh mate. Hey, uh, <laughs> I don't know if he's a meter, but he's a bloody big fish. Uh oh. Yeah, just take it easy on him now. Listen. Yeah, I know. I know. That's all the weed on it. It's not a tree. It's a big fish, mate. Look at him. He's out here. He's, he's in front of you. Yep. And my line's going that way. I'm going to have to come across. He's out there, yeah, in your line to you. Yep. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his tail. And churn it on the weed. I was just about to turn the bloody video on then too. Just remember this is where that big croc is too, so. Yeah. This is one of the issues you have with um, the weed. Like you can see these fishes out there pushing another branch. No. Oh no, it's not, it's here. My God, and his line's going in here, so. it's You put too much pressure on it now, and this is when you pop your line on the weed, so. You gotta let them shake their head, cut back through the weed, and then ease them a little bit further, and then let them shake their head again. I'm gonna need you over here, buddy, where I can get hold of this thing. Uh oh, he's gonna get on again, is he? I don't know. Where do you need me? You're right. Um, geez, he's stirring everything up. How's he still got stuff in him? Nice and steady, mate. I'm just sizing his boil. Yeah, I know. Holy shit, I reckon this is a meter. I don't think he's a meter, mate, but he's a bloody good this fish. He'd be bloody close to it. Oh, bloody mosquitoes, hurry up and land this thing. <laughs> You're right, now I'm going to have to slide down here. This is going to be sketchy. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get him. Oh, I can't get him up. Uh, it's all right, it's all right. Just take your time with it. If you can. Oh Jesus, he might be a meter here, yeah, right? Oh, just nice and steady. Oh my god. He oh, might be a meter, eh? He's a donkey, but I tell you, it doesn't matter, man. He's 
Big fish. He's a big fish. Go. Right at my feet. Both times right at my feet. Right, uh, I'll turn this camera off. We'll get this set up so I can get an idea on how big he is. You weren't losing this one. Nope. Unless I busted the line. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. That'd be the only way. You fought him well, mate. You just put the right amount of pressure on him. Wow. My line was on that way and he was like out here. Mm, I know. There we go. Here, grab that. Real quick. I'm going to slide him down here in the back. How is my lead weight not come out yet? I've got to get the leader out for more around my hand. All right. Here we go. Oi. Alright, not a bad fish that one. Whoop there! Oh, I'm just gonna slide him in here, mate. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats, mate, that's a good fish. Nice little one. Right at, me, right at my feet again. Right. Another pretty fish. Yeah, I got one, I just missed. Oh, oh, I just missed another one just there. No, don't think so. No, a little barrel. <coughs> no, he's only a pup. That one thumped a minute ago, it wasn't. A little bit bigger or? Still only a pup. Oh no. Big one, or? The old tail caddy, eh? Hey. Okay. Cheers. Another one there by the sound of that. Yeah, right under there. It was just, it was just suspended. It was just sitting there. I was letting it float back up. On the hammer. Yeah. yeah. Normally I only have that pump like a said Yep. That's a good jack. That's a good jack, eh? Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, you get them a lot bigger than that. Oh, yeah, you do get them bigger, but no, still. You're getting off that. Look at the hooks in here. Yeah. No, he was definitely, he was not going nowhere. Did you hit that at your feet, did he? Oh, I just, not where he is. Right here. Oh, missed him again. Oh, 
uh, seven inch paddle prawn and just flick through the weed. Eh? You didn't fish it with the paddle prawn, though. He's a traditional coloured bloody freshie, eh? Oh, nice. Where's that? He sounded a little bit bigger than that, didn't he? <laughs> you sucked the nose right in on that frog. 